It is almost that time. Ring in the new year tomorrow with a sophisticated party, but without blowing your budget. Chef Govan Armstrong serves small plates packed with flavor at his hot restaurant, Table 8 in L.A. and Miami, and soon opening right here in New York. Now, he's developed a New Year's Eve menu for us this morning. Good, good to see you. Welcome good to once see again. you. Congratulations on the success of the restaurant. Thank you very soon much. Soon to be opening here in New York. Cannot oh, yeah. Wait. So what do we have here this morning? Uh, we're doing several little dishes that um, we serve at the restaurant. Yep. Uh, this first one's going to be a little... Uh, it's a stuffed olive that we're doing. Okay. We're gonna stuff it with a little bit of lamb sausage here. So it's a really simple process. In this sausage here, we have a little bit of, um, what is it, a little bit of coriander seed, some fennel seed, and a little bit of turmeric. And we're gonna prick it just like that, dredge it in a little bit of flour, little egg. egg wash, and a little breadcrumb. Just normal sausage you can buy at the market? You can either make it at home or you can buy it. it it's okay. like really, really simple. Either way you want to do it, it's perfectly fine. So we have Roll some it up here. a little bit. Yeah, we have some here that have been prepared earlier. If you want to just go ahead and fry those off in the oil there. And the oil's around 350 degrees, which is so like the perfect. Dump them right in or leave them up? Yeah, carefully, of course. Okay. There you go. Perfect. perfect. Let that go. The next thing, actually, here's a finished product if you want to try some of those. How long are they in for? Uh, they're in for about a minute and a half. About a minute and a half? Yeah. So simple right. little snack. Yeah, you can make them well ahead of time. Little pop -ups. You could, Yeah, you can, you can freeze them. They hold up real nicely. So here we have some bread. This is the grilled cheese that I'm going to make, which um, has a little bit of pulled short rib, okay. some red onion marmalade, and a little bit of bell paese cheese. So you can help me out here. We'll do just a little bit of cheese. Okay. I'll make mine over here while you make yours. Perfect. And that's the nice part about these two, these little sandwiches. I mean, it's, it's relatively inexpensive, which is the reason we're here, but also easy right. to make. It doesn't take too long. Yeah, no, quick and easy. Once again, they can be made well ahead of time. So just a little bit of onion there. And a little bit of short rib. And fun for the family. You can get their hands dirty. Exactly. Right exactly. Get the kids in there. And Some just fold rib. this part over like that. Just and these my are hands. pretty much, yeah, you know, hey, it's all family, right? Got it. And we'll just... Slide these off to the side here. And what we have, got one ready for you right over here. They're just about there. Probably yes. another 30 seconds or so. I'll let you try Maggie this guy. Maggie loves grilled cheese. Oh, really? Oh, this is a, definitely we'll by far this all morning. one of the best you'll ever have. And the great thing is if you have extra short rib left over, which yep. you probably will, it's great the next morning. Fry an egg on it. Make a little hash mm. with it. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Then... Jackie and Jeff want some too. Oh, good, you cut it in. Uh huh. I cut it in. Well done. Plenty, Thank you. plenty of pieces, of course. Okay. All right. That looks fantastic. Yeah. If you love Thank short you ribs, Jackie, oh, I know you love I'm, short ribs and onions. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Get me your sandwich. And cheese, it's all in there. Right. This is the best I've ever had. Isn't that tasty? Mm -hmm. Governor, let's make our way down here because. Yep. So what wow. we have here is a little soup that we made. It's a little shooter of a uh, sunchoke soup. So sunchoke, a little bit of pear, onion. Sunchoke is? It's, sun, it's a Jerusalem artichoke. It's okay. these guys right here. I'm sure you've seen them in the market. Nice, yeah. um, and what we did here, we just sauteed them a little bit with a little bit of pear. We puree them. A little blue cheese crouton in there. It's um, pretty unbelievable. They don't get utilized too much. Nice. I love them. Yeah, Aren't those nice. great? Yeah. Then we have a little cocktail right there, which is a little Prosecco. Pomegranate juice, a little bit of gin, my favorite, of course. Pomegranates are huge this yeah. year, huh? They're, they're great, really yeah. Into. Well, tis the season, so they're, they're kind of the everywhere. Season. They and are this is, everywhere. So what's, what's the mixture here? Give me the blend. What is it? It is a little bit of gin. Mm -hmm. It is a little bit of Prosecco. Mm. We have some sweet and sour mix. Yeah. Actually, not sweet and sour. Simple syrup. Simple Sorry syrup. about that. And just a splash of pomegranate juice. Needs more gin. Needs more gin. There you go. <laughs> what a surprise. <laughs> but it's great. All right, Gomez, thank you very much. That was great. Nice, inexpensive, easy stuff here.